So it says the equation of the line through minus 1 comma 3 and parallel to the line joining 6 comma 3 and 2 comma minus 3. So there is line number 1 in as far as uh, who is concerned two of the points lying on the line have been given and line number 2 whose equation we need to find. So line number 2 has whose one point is known is given so we can take this accordingly. Now if you look at this. 6 comma 3 can be taken as uh, x1 y1 and 2 comma minus 3 will be taken as x2 y2 so we can find the slope m which is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 this is going to be y2 minus y1 so it will be minus 3 minus 3 upon 2 minus 6 which is going to be minus 6 upon minus 4 which is 3 by 2. Now the required line is a parallel line. So its slope since the lines are parallel its slope is also 3 by 2. So its slope m is 3 by 2 and it passes through the point minus 1 comma 3. So as far as the required line goes we know one point this point and the slope of the line. So we write the equation of the line in the form y minus y1 or y minus the y coordinate of the line of a point on the line is equal to m that is 3 by 2 into x minus of minus 1 that is x plus 1 we need to cross multiply because it has been given in that form 2y minus 6 is equal to 3x plus 3 this makes it 3x minus 2y 3 plus 6 plus 9 is 0. So this equation becomes <coughs> sorry 3x minus 2y plus 9 is equal to 0. Hence among these the option that you involve is uh, that is appropriate is 3x minus 2y plus 9 is 0. <coughs> and sorry. So what we have done is with the help of the given two points, we found its slope. The required line is parallel to it. So its slope we come to know hence. And the required line is also passing through a particular point. So we use it in the form point slope form. And you get the equation as 3x minus 2y plus 9 is 0. And yes, what we have done is right. Much of the same lines, let's see what we have further. We have equation of a line which is perpendicular to 5x minus 2y plus 7 and passes through the midpoint of the line joining 2 comma 7 which is perpendicular. Now if you see 5x minus 2y is equal to 7. So slope of this line of line number 1 is minus a by b which is minus 5 upon minus 2 that is 5 upon 2. Now required line is perpendicular therefore required line slope m is the negative reciprocal of this that is minus 2 by 5. Minus 2 by 5 is the slope of the required line because it passes through. Now it also passes through the midpoint of the line joining 2 comma 7 and minus 4 comma 1 that means for the required line we know the slope and a point x1 y1 through which it passes. Now that x1 y1 is a midpoint. Now how do you find the midpoint? Midpoint is the average of the x coordinates. So in that case x1 y1 is going to be 2 minus 4 by 2 and 7 plus 1 by 2 which is going to be minus 2 by 2 which is minus 1, 7 plus 1, 8 by 2, 4. Hence, the required line is having a slope minus 2 by 5 because it is perpendicular to this line and it passes through the midpoint of 2 comma 7 minus 4 comma 1. That means it passes through minus 1 by 1 comma 4. So its equation is y minus y1 is m into x minus x1. So which goes as y minus 4 is minus 2 by 5 into x minus minus one, x1 that is x plus 1 cross multiply you get 5y minus 20 is equal to minus 2x minus 2 so this becomes taking it to the side you get 2x 
plus 5i minus 18 is 0. So we have 2x plus 5i minus 18 is 0 is the equation of this line which is perpendicular to this given line and passes through the midpoint of these two. Hence we get this line. So among these options it is not these but option number 8 2x plus 5i minus 18 is 0. Let's check and yes that's what we have over here. So that's an interesting lot of questions. Furthermore, let's see what we have here. You have a very simple concept. The line joining minus 1 comma 1 and 2 comma minus 2 and the line joining uh, 1 comma 2, 2 comma k are perpendicular to each other for the following values of k. Now the lines are perpendicular to each other. Therefore, the slope m1 of the first line is y2 minus y1 for a change let's do it y1 minus y2 so it's 1 minus minus 2 which is 1 plus 2 <coughs> upon x1 minus x2 that is minus 1 minus 2 which is 3 upon minus 3 which is minus 1. Now this line that is 1 comma 2 and 2 comma k this one its slope is would be given by y1 minus y2, say 2 minus k upon x2 minus x1, 1 minus 2. So that gives you 2 minus k upon minus 1, which can also be written as k minus 2 upon 1. Now, since lines are perpendicular, if they are perpendicular, m1 into m2 is minus 1, which means k minus 2 into minus 1 is minus 1 which means that k minus 2 is equal to 1 therefore k has to be 1 plus 2 3 hence you get the value of k as 3 so this particular value of k if you put it the product of the slopes would be equal to minus 1 and hence for this particular value of k you will find that the lines are perpendicular to each other. So it's going to be k equal to 3. And yes, we do have the value of k as 3. Okay. Now, furthermore, we have the next one. All right. Now here, just one information has been given that the equation of the straight line passing through the points minus 5 comma 2 we can take it as x1 y1 6 comma minus 4 which can be taken as x2 y2 we need to find the equation of that line now we can this is going to be we don't know the y-intercept but we know two points through which the line passes so we write it in the two-point form so the equation is y minus y1 upon y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1. Now you don't have to be very rigid as I told just in case you interchange this no worries you can just have to correspondingly for example if you write it as y minus y1 and by mistake you wrote it as y1 by minus y2 it is not a mistake actually you just have to take care that on the right hand side you take it as x1 minus x2 as well. Substitute the values y minus y1 is y minus 2 y2 uh, y minus y1 is y minus 2 y2 minus y1 that is minus 4 minus 2 then x minus x1 that is x minus minus 5 that is x plus 5 upon x2 minus x1 which is 6 minus minus 5 6 plus 5 hence you end up getting y minus 2 upon minus 6 is equal to x plus 5 upon 11 cross multiply and you get 11y minus 22 is equal to minus 6x minus 30 take it to the side and you get 6x plus 11y minus 22 plus 30 plus 8 is 0 so the equation of the required line is 6x plus 11y plus 8 is equal to 0 so you've done it in the two point form which is just an extension of the point slope form so among these options, what we have is C, 6x plus 11y plus 8 is equal to 0. And yes, that's what we have right now.
Now, uh, at this particular point, I would like to mention one also a very important uh, point that is there is just in case you forget the form, there is another way of doing it is just substitute the values. For example, if you put x is minus 5, y is 2 over here, you get uh, minus 30 plus 22 plus 8, which is in any case 0. Same way you put 6 into 6, 12, 36 minus 44 plus 8. So that also will give you 44 minus 44, 0. So this is the equation <coughs> uh, for whom both these points coordinates are satisfied. There is another way of doing it. It all depends upon the amount of time available for you and uh, how clear about how you're going to go about doing it. So you have two options. One is actual substitution. But in this case, you need to substitute the value of both of them. So hence, we move across. <coughs> Okay. Now, here you have the equation of a line joining the point 3, 5 to the point of intersection of the lines 4x plus y minus 1 is equal to 0 and 7x minus 3y minus 35 is so and so. So we have a point, line passing through a point. The other point is the point of intersection of these two. So if you look at it in this equation, we can take y as 1 minus 4x. If you look at it, y is equal to 1 minus 4x. This you substitute over here. So you get 7x minus 3 into 1 minus 4x minus 35 is 0. So you get 7x minus 3 plus 12x minus 35 is 0. And you get 19x is equal to 38 so x turns out to be 2 therefore in that case y as per this would be 1 minus 4 into 2 1 minus 8 minus 7 so 2 comma minus 7 is our point one of the points through which the line passes so this is going to be x1 y1 and the other point is 3 comma 5 which is x2 y2 you can even take this says x2, y2 and this is x1, y1. Okay. So now we have a line passing through 3, 5 and the point of intersection of this which happens to be 2, minus 7. And <coughs> hence we have what will be the equation of that line is that we have y minus y1 upon y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1. So, hence it is y minus y1 is minus of minus 7, that is 7 upon y2 minus y1, 5 minus minus 7, which is 12, x minus x1, x minus x1, that is minus 2, upon x2 minus x1, that is 3, minus 2. So hence we get y plus 7 upon 12 is x minus 2 upon 1. Simplify it, you get y plus 7 is equal to 12x minus 24. So we get 12x minus y minus 31 is equal to 0. So it is 12x minus y minus 31 is equal to 0 is the equation of this line which passes through the point of intersection of these two and this line. So do we have this option here? Yes, we do have 12x minus y minus 31 is 0. So, and yes, we have it right over here. <coughs> then, furthermore, let's see what we have here. Okay, now. The lines 3x plus 4y, 4x minus 3y plus 5 is 0 are what among these? If the lines are, so we find by the slope, the slope in this case is going to be minus a by b, which is minus 3 by 4. Slope in this case is minus a by b, that is minus 4 upon minus 3, 4 by 3. The slopes are definitely not equal. The other option is product of the slopes which turns out to be minus 1. So, minus a by b minus a by b will help you get the slopes. And since the product of the slopes is minus 1, the lines are going to be perpendicular to each other.
Okay, so yes, they are perpendicular to each other. 